Welcome back to yet another, well actually this is one of the few quick tip tutorials, updates for Armour 3D that I do on this video channel, on this channel I mean, uh, because most videos that I do are tutorials or tutorial series, in fact I should probably do a few less, I should probably start learning before. Anyway back to the point, Armour 3D has a new update, not only in version but also in the actual web uh, page. So if you have uh, been a viewer of Games from Scratch, Games from Scratch game from scratch you might have noticed this new video army isn't dead where he describes the army game engine to be a sort of hybrid zombie program whereas it's got updates and it's been used but most people think it's a dead program so they don't go near it and this was mostly due to the lack of communication and uh updates from the uh developer side from the actual program uh, so most people, well, they won't go into, you know, start learning a dead game engine, there's no point. Whereas actually it never was dead, it's just been silently working. So, I'm going to show you a new feature that has just appeared on the webpage, or at least it's appeared recently. In the uh, Army 3D um, pay uh, website, I mean, we go to the new tab called Release Notes, right next to the downloads, and we finally have, after so many years, Release Notes. Most programs already have these uh, by default, which is one of the main things that people do. Armory hasn't had that luxury. So it's an exciting thing to have a release notes. I'm maybe a bit too excited. The point being, we have a new version drop as well. It's 2021.9, whereas we have a bunch of things. We have 21 total pull requests containing 36 commits. I'm not sure exactly all that much about pull requests and commits and what they can contain but because uh, I'm not a developer but I'm, a, I'm an, a user, an artist and I like having updates and I especially like knowing what the updates are. In the previous versions we have a new input updates for the nodes. I had no idea what the hell these were, they, they, these input mats or whatever the hell you call them. There was no updates or anything. The only reason I noticed them was because I actually looked for new things and realized they were there. So, uh, having the, all these new things inside of, of um, the website is really going to help a lot more people to con to to you know understand that Armory is not dead. In fact, it is not a zombie game engine. It is actually in the works. And if you actually look at the amount of things that's going on here, there are a lot of updates and modifications and simplifications of things that used to be complicated. And if we actually go to the git page, uh, the itch page, uh, it, I don't know how you say that. If you go to the download page, you will, n which is where I highly rec recommend you to download Armory from instead of the default page, uh, the default site. Uh, this is where you can find all the updates. And as you can see, every month there is a new version that drops. We haven't had that much work done. Because uh, as you can see, uh, the previous versions are pretty much the same size. And now, boom, we've got a huge update. Well, not huge, 13 megabytes. It's pretty big um, compared to what we were getting previously in the updates. So it's uh, noticeable. And uh, we have a bunch of new fixes. So I recommend you go download it, swap out the SDK. I'll probably redo a tutorial uh, more a more advanced, a simpler tutorial on how to install Armory for beginners because it's one of my most viewed on my channel and it was a very old video with no audio um, design or I had no mic. The point being, I'm rambling on, thank you very much for watching, Armory is not dead, it is alive, it is getting better by the day and I'm excited to see what you make with it. Thank you very much for watching, see you in the next one.